G'day. In today's video, I'm having a bit of a rant regarding the B650M Gaming Wi-Fi Revision 1.0. This one here I've been trying to do a BIOS update for for probably the last, oh, at least half an hour, maybe an hour. And I've tried many things. The issue that I get is that QFlash, when it, oh, when it loads up QFlash from the BIOS, and then I go to reboot to do secure flash, the system just powers off and keyboard becomes unresponsive and it doesn't actually go anywhere. At first I thought it may have been my screen. So I did end up connecting up a different screen to one over here and a third one which I've got over here. All of which produced no difference. I removed the graphics card and had it running on the onboard Ryzen uh, Radeon chip. It's got a Ryzen 5 7600 and 32 gig of Corsair Vengeance 5200 RPM RAM and of which I still received no display when I went there. So I thought, cool, simple. I'll go to QFlash. If I turn it off, power light, power light is off, fan spin is finished, power is off. So bam, we've now got five volts on USB. So we're in sleep. And in theory, I should be able to plug my USB into port one. This one does have an LED in it. It does say BIOS right up there under the USB. So on this board it goes there. I go to QFlash, I press, no LED, no flashing on there, no nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. Don't know if the switch is broken or what's going on, but QFlash will not work, or QFlash Plus will not work on this board for me. What else have I tried? I've tried with processor, without processor, everything removed, everything installed, all of which is still producing the exact same issue. Q flash button doesn't wake up the system. I do have the power on. 24 and, and four, oh, 24 and eight plugged in. The only thing I haven't tried is going an incremental BIOS update. I'm trying to update to BIOS version 15, uh, F32C, which if I bring we, us over here, go to here, and go to support, expand that out. If I go downloads, BIOS version, we do have this one. So I've oh, actually F32D. I'm gonna now try and try to update to a slightly newer, but not as new version. The other dilemma is if you do have a different revision, the BIOS won't update. But being my box says version uh, 1.0, and going over to here, well, we can't see, but down the bottom corner on my motherboard, it's got revision 1.0. I've encountered this with one other B650 gaming Wi Fi, so I'm almost curious if that's not actually a revision 1, even though it says on the box it is, it says on here it is. We'll just power it up and go into the BIOS to check the revision and what BIOS version it's got right now. So look at that. I'm BIOS version F24C, which doesn't exist. There's 04 2224. So April 2024. Going back over to here, we have April 10th. We have F23. And then we go to F30. So there is no BIOS, this BIOS that this board has got doesn't exist. Okay, so let's go to revision 1.1. Revision 1.1. Completely different naming structure for the BIOSes. Completely different. I go to F, uh, there we go, revision 1.2. F32D, F32A, F32, no. The one doesn't exist and the dates do not match up. Not handy. So yeah, it has basically driven me into madness. So far, why is there a BIOS version on here that doesn't actually exist for any revisions of this board, nor on the manufacturer's website? A, how did it get on there? B, why can't I update? C, what the hell is it? So right now, this board looks to be stuck at BIOS version. Where are we? F24C released on April 20, 2022 or April 22nd on, in 2024, but it doesn't correspond to 
a BIOS version. Time for some Googling, probably no answers there, worth a shot. But yeah, I thought I'd just document this madness that I'm going down. So now we're gonna have a quick try of the flash. If I can get it on here. Sadly, it doesn't see the BIOS. Oop. Why is that trying to do something? I don't know if it's just because I've plugged in the flash drive right now. There. There. Yes. Hmm. Very odd. Okay, so trying again once more. Right now I've just downloaded an earlier version, which was F30. Yes. Yes. Go. So right now I've got F24C and hopefully B Gaming Wi-Fi F30 T and right now that's what's going on. I didn't actually click reboot. GPU's powered down. Screen's turned off. USB is not being read. Power saving mode is on. So screen's cut out display. GPU fans are spinning once more, but just nothing. Handy. And right now we'll go and crack it for a bit. So we've still got 5 volt. Press, press, press. Power. And I want that to hopefully boot off the USB. So I'm trying something slightly different now. Which, with this version, the BIOS that I've downloaded, we can flash it by SOP. So we download a file, put it on a bootable USB, boot to AFI shell, select a USB, and essentially be able to flash it that way. Curious if it would come up with that screen, I don't know. But it's worth a shot on this board. Right now, still not quite happy. Do you find that when it cuts out before that BIOS update, it does become a rather pain to wake it back up again. Bingo! So it just booted off a off the USB, and from here, here I reckon I type flash dot. Line up of number locks not on. Number lock. So we got startup sesh any other key. I'm at shell. It tells me to write FS0, but it's already got FS0 up the top there. But I'll FS O. Hit enter. Shell is not recognized. I'm just type in flash.nsh. Failed loading BIOS file. Reading successful. So it's trying to do it, it just doesn't want to doesn't want to know about it. There's our F24C there. FS0 there. There we go. Flash dot NSH. Bingo. Verifying file. 100%. Okay, so far, so good. And we are off. And now we play the waiting game. This is not where it, well, this is typically where it's stalled for me at every point. And it looks like. 
No, oh, that's my phone going off. No display. The exact same way. I bet the only way I'm going to be able to BIOS flash this, I'd say, is by hooking up a BIOS programmer and flashing it. What a pain. That did show promise, but still no good. Damn, that is highly disappointing. So I've gone slightly crazy and I have now taken the chip off the board. I'm going to solder that directly to one of my EEPROM uh, writers and hopefully be able to flash what I reckon should be the correct BIOS on there. It's either going to fail miserably or it's going to succeed. I'll see how we go. So sadly, I've tried to BIOS flash this and that has failed. And right now, I'm looking pretty much a dead motherboard. So it's something that's going to get thrown in the back, in the back burner, forget about for a while, maybe revisit. But overall, that BIOS version, I have no idea why it cannot be upgraded. And yeah, I don't. This is the second one that I've seen of the gaming Wi-Fi of the B650 gaming Wi-Fi that has had that BIOS version. So what the hell is going on at Gigabyte? Not impressed. Not happy. See you later.